here. That must be a violet. Wow. Oh, there's more. Dead nettle are starting to wind down. It's just a springtime thing. <sighs> Here's a pretty cluster. Hey everybody, Kay here on the homestead. I'm doing a little grounding. We're supposed to, oops, get a bad storm. And I hope everyone watching this is safe from the storm today. Just wanted to put out a quick little message. I walked down to the mailbox, saw a few wildflowers. I actually saw two military helicopters go over that way, the lowest I had ever seen. And straight through that pass over there. And my camera work was so bad, I'm <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I should have just taken a picture. Got a lot of those popping up. So anyway, thought I would just fill you in. I've gotten a bunch of clips filmed and I haven't had a chance to compile them because here's the thing about living over where there are storms and tornadoes kind of on a <laughs> weekly basis is uh, you just kind of have to carve out time for them. You just kind of have to stop prepare, get ready, and then wait. And it's hard for me to get much done, you know, with this thing that could be seven o'clock, eight o'clock. It might be bad, it might not be bad. You know, it's, oh, I think something just bit me. Oh well. No bad bugs are out biting yet. Could be an ant. I don't know what it was. Can't worry too much about a little bug bite. But I just went down to get the mail. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do a little grounding, check in with you guys. And hopefully I can just go in and maybe cut together a video before, uh, before the storm and get it out in the morning so you know what's going on. Oh. oh man, that looks good. I should get some seeds. I should get the I should get the wallflower seeds down. But you know, in order to do that, I really need to rake them in and then cover them with hay. That's not going to happen like in the next ten minutes. So, especially now that my four wheeler, it had some kind of a seal on the back left tire wheel that leaked out and so 
my personal four-wheeler repairman Butch came and picked it up and he said he'd have it back next week and I'm going oh what am I gonna do till then this hill is a killer oh I pulled my gorilla cart heavy full of wet crushed leaves up the hill last night at dark I thought I was gonna die anyway ah, I haven't gotten much done today but uh, at least a few things Moving forward, step by step. All right, just wanted to check in. Thanks for watching. And I'll be sure and post on my community page how it goes tonight with the storm. And everybody check in if you're in the path of the storm. And uh, if you're new here, this is my front yard. I used to have it. 5,700 square foot property, house, driveway, garden, art studio, everything on that amount of space. And now I have a lower garden down there, right down there. That's 5,000 square feet. <laughs> so you can see I stepped up in size and responsibility, but I wanted to do it, you know, while I still could. I wanted to see what it was like to have more space. I had a tiny little garden, never was able to grow much of anything. And, and so we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe if you haven't and watch for my video in the morning. This is Philadelphia fleabane. It's another weed, but it actually has a pretty little flower. I've got one blooming over here. Oh, and look, I got some pansies. I bought those, I confess. There's a flea bane growing right there in the flower pot and chickweed. I left those in there. <laughs> Where is it? Where'd it go? Uh, oh, it was right here. Let's see. Where'd it go? Don't tell me it's gone. Oh, here it is. See? Isn't that pretty? It's like a little daisy. They start out lilac or lavender color. And then when they open, they're pale pink with the yellow center. Hey, tiger. You have to stay inside. Got another storm. Got another storm. I know. I know. Oh. Front porch is all ready. Got the rocking chairs inside. And the cozy corner metal chairs flattened the corinthian bells is that what they are my wonderful chimes is down and bird feeders are still there we'll see if they hang on all right folks <laughs>